Hi everybody, you are watching Vitorials. Welcome to this tutorial where we're gonna show you how to create this infinity logotype inside Adobe Illustrator. First we are gonna start with the simple circles and straight lines and uh, then we, we are gonna combine them using Shape Builder tool and add this nice fades via transparency mask. So it's gonna be a very great tutorial, stick with me, I will see you in the next few seconds. So I'm now in Adobe 1920 by 1080 new document. And first of all I want to show my grid, so Ctrl Quad or Command Quad to load my grid and Ctrl Shift Quad, Command Shift Quad. To show the grid, to snap to the grid. You can also go to the view and find these options here. And then for those who following along this tutorial, we need to go to the edit, preferences, whites and grids and here I want to set grid line every 120 pixels and number of subdivision to 2. So I have only two cells between my grid lines and each of them is 60 pixels width and height. I also have my keyboard increment half of the pixel. So after do necessary changes click OK and we are ready to start with our ellipse tool. Grab your ellipse tool, hit once on your keyboard uh, artboard to lower the dialog box, link between width and height and set width and height to 600 pixels. Click OK. Get rid of the stroke, clicking on the slash. S uh, get rid, I'm sorry, get rid of the fill, clicking on the slash and set the stroke to one point black. I want to place it right here, probably here. Then I want to make a three smaller copies. In order to do that, we need to simply Ctrl C, Ctrl F, or Command C, Command F on your Mac, and then holding Shift and Alt, make a smaller duplicate, and radius of each other duplicate should be one cell smaller. So then Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and snap to the grid. Ctrl C, Ctrl F, and and snap to the grid like so and set the stroke to one point black so we have these circles and we need to create a tangent lines for doing this grab your line segment tool and draw a line here tangent to first biggest circle then make a duplicate holding alt and then dragging and holding shift key to move to the straight line and snap to the first cell, uh, first cell, then make a copy of this transformation using Ctrl D or Command D twice, select all, hold Alt and hold Shift and duplicate it to the other side of your circles and here we have this very nice lines. Now we need to rotate them, first select all of them and holding shift is important rotate to 45 degrees then holding shift rotate this to the right on 45 degrees and now we need to control shift bracket to turn off snap to grip option then we need to control u or command u to load our smart glides you can also use these options here on view, turn your smart lights here and turn off the snap to the grid here, Ctrl Y or Command Y to lower the outline mode. If you have this option snap to the pixel grid, disable this option here. Now we need to attach our lines so they are still tangent to our circles. We need to walk very carefully, be very patient. So I'm gonna start with the left lines. I'm gonna scale my artwork 
and start attaching it, attaching them to the circles. And also I want to grab them and to move them to the bottom as you can see. Just to make sure that uh, my left and right lights uh, gonna intersect in the middle. And then deselect your lines, select all of your design and you can inspect whether you do your work or not, I think I don't. And I gonna inspect again and this time I do all the job right and I'm gonna do the same with the right, right uh, line. So I want to speed up a little bit my tutorial and so we have our construction shapes and we're ready to create uh, one coherent design. So let's start uh, with shape builder tool, click shift M and start selecting all necessary paths. First I'm gonna select this and uh, also this. Then I want to go to my middle ring and combine all these shapes like so. And I'm gonna select my third ring and combine all the shapes here. After doing that we need we can delete all unnecessary lines, all the strain points, open your layer panel and delete all of the straight lines here. Then Ctrl Y Command Y to enter the uh, preview mode. And we have this nice shape. We need to duplicate it. In order to do that, grab your reflect tool or click O. Holding Alt or Option key, click on the very bottom point of your shape to open the dialog box. Make sure that you're flipping around the horizontal line. Click copy. Now move your bottom shapes toward your top until it snaps. Uh, if your smart device is tuned on, Adobe Illustrator will prompt you with this intersect message. Now I want to select all and start selecting my infinity loop. Grab your shape build tool, tap like here, then selecting all of my design in the middle and select this shape on the top as well as this shape on the bottom. But I want to leave this small uh, square this small pixel and uh, I'm gonna explain you why I do that in the next few minutes so we have the shape I want to scale it a little bit first of all we need to add a black background so I cover my artboard with a rectangle swap fill and stroke holding con, con, use control shift left bracket move it to the bottom delete all the straight lines here yeah, as you can see it's now on the bottom and i want to click on this free space here to lock my design now i want to select my shape and swap fill and stroke Find my white color from color picker, delete these shapes in the middle using backspace, then delete these shapes from the top. And now we have shape, we are going to work with it in order to create the final result. So first of first thing first, select your top shape. 
Ctrl C, Ctrl F to make a duplicate and paste this duplicate on front. Using line segment tool, draw a small line. Give it a stroke so you can see what you are going to do. Then select this top shape, this duplicate, this line. Grab your shape builder tool and select, select this segment. Now you can delete this shape and this left part of your segment. And we need to go to the gradient and add the gradient to this shape. As you can see, it's gonna fade my design. Now I want to grab this slider of my gradient and push it to the right to the black color then grab my gradient tool or click G and align it like so then click on this small little button to reverse gradient and we are ended with this result now I want to select this bottom shape here and do the same draw a line in the middle make a duplicate of your shape select this line and select this part and delete another stuff and you can rub this duplicate from the shape sampling with your airdropper tool and align it with gradient also click G and align it like so so we have all the necessary stuff. You can duplicate this shape now holding Alt key. Make a rotation holding Shift key on 180 degrees and place it like so. It's absolutely perfectly attached by Adobe Illustrator so don't worry. Then holding Alt key make duplicate of this shape, rotate it on sh with the Shift key and place it like so. And probably control, use Ctrl Shift right bracket, keeping it selected to move it to front. So we almost done. Why almost? Because we have a little issue. If you change your background color to let's say red, as you can see, it, they are still black. And in order to your Design a little bit more flexible, so your fades repeated the color of your background. First of all, select the shape, go to the Pathfinder and combine it. Then keep it selected, Ctrl Shift left bracket to move it on bottom. And now we need to select this. I have this now, well, I probably want to combine this as well. So select the shape, place it to the new layer. I want to place it like so. Then I also want to place a fade from this layer place it to the new layer. Keep selecting this shape. Let me change the blending, uh, blending box color. Let's say to the black. Keep selecting this shape. Go to transparency and click on this button. Make mask. To make mask. And check this option. On the bottom click. Then select your fades. Ctrl X. To cut your shapes. Select your. Select your design. Select your mask. It's very important to select actually opacity mask. And use Ctrl Shift V to paste them on place. Or you can also go to the edit paste paste in place here. And you can see it's now faded with the background color. We need to do the same transformation with our with another shape so 
I selected my face and shape, threw it on my new layer. Then I want to click on the make mask. Uncheck this option clip. Select my face. Control X to cut them. Then select my design, select opacity mask and Ctrl Shift V to paste them on them. And this is how my friends you can create this this nice faded infinity symbol inside Adobe Illustrator. So if you like this tutorial, do not hesitate to thumb up, subscribe and share it with your friends. I want to thank you for following to them. Have a nice day.